Hi students, in the last video we have seen the introduction to engineering graphics. We have learned what is engineering graphics, why engineering graphics is different from other conventional types of drawings, who make engineering, graphic, uh, engineering drawing, what are the specialities in engineering uh, drawing or engineering graphics, why it is important? Now, to learn engineering graphics or to understand engineering graphics, you must know certain new things that are followed in engineering drawing. It is not simply a drawing on a canvas. Instead, you have to learn about certain new concepts. Therefore, this class, this video is called Introduction to orthographic projections, orthogonal projections, introduction to orthographic projections. It is by orthographic projection that we draw engineering objects. For that, we assume a vertical plane and a horizontal plane. A vertical plane and a horizontal plane. They are two transparent planes. They meet at 90 degrees. To form four quadrants, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and the quadrant four. Four quadrants at 90 degrees. When we draw big objects, we assume big quadrants, big planes, and when we draw small objects, we assume small planes. This is a pictorial representation of the two planes: vertical plane and the horizontal plane. HP for horizontal plane, VP for vertical plane. You can see the two planes meet at 90 degrees. I have drawn a line here, and that line is called the XY line or ground line or reference line. Form four quadrants, quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. E rand transparent planes, horizontal plane, vertical planes, number in the rand transparent planes, Tamil Kuti Mutana next way, Nalu quadrants on that. That's what, it, what is the whole thing about. Now, when you draw an engineering object, we can keep the object in any of the four quadrants. Number object never came out, the object in a quadrant delivering you look up. Depending upon the quadrant where you keep the object, the use will be slightly different. Namal we the quadrant then sit je, where we keep the view na, the same one. That is the other one we are going to learn how and why those differences are coming. You know, in actual practice, the light rays from our eyes are not parallel. But you, you know, in physics, when you are studying physics, you have assumed the light rays that is coming from the sun. We assume they are coming from the, uh, the light rays are parallel to each other. The light rays coming from the sun are parallel to each other. Similarly, when we look to draw the views, we assume the light rays are parallel. Now, wherever be the object, wherever be the object, the view from this side is called the front view or elevation and is drawn on this view. The view from the top is called the top view or plan and is drawn on this HP. The front view is drawn on VP and the top view is drawn on HP. This is a pictorial representation, I mean practical explanation of the four quadrants. Four quadrants. I cannot hold them very correctly, but something like this. HP, VP. Pictorial representation similar to this. First quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. Agreed? Now, let us see what happens when you draw an object. Let us see an object in first quadrant, an object situated in first quadrant. It can be on HP, it can be in space, it can be even on VP, no problem. Let, it, let an object be in space. You are going to draw the views. You are sitting in your reference position. The position where you sit there is called the reference position. When you have got an object here in first quadrant, you stand from there, come to this side and view from there and draw the view on this. The light rays are assumed parallel. The light rays after coming from your eye reach the numerous parts of the objects and make an impression on this VP. That is called the front view or elevation. Then you go up. Look from an infinitely large distance. For the light rays to be parallel, you are assuming you are looking from an infinitely large distance. So looking, look from an infinitely large height and project the view onto this HP. Then you come back to the reference position. I repeat, you are drawn the front view or elevation on this VP, you have drawn the top view or plan on this HP, then you come back to the reference position. Agreed? Okay. You cannot see what you have drawn. Rotate HP through 90 degrees clockwise to open up. What is it? Rotate HP through 90 degrees clockwise. 
Agree? So you have done this much. Even now you cannot see because you are sitting there. Rotate the whole thing. Now you can see. Where is the elevation drawn? Elevation was elevation was drawn here. Plan was drawn here. You have rotated it. Now you look at it. This is x y. Plan is below x y. Elevation is above x y. Agree? Agree? Okay. I mark elevation above x y. A for above. Plan below x y. Next case, I am holding the whole thing. So object is situated in second quadrant. You are still looking from there. I have told you that the light rays are parallel to each other and the planes are transparent. Through the transparent plane, you see the object here and make an impression on this VP. You look from the top, you get the plan on this HP. Go back. Rotate HP through 90 degrees clockwise. XY line, both views are above XY. A for above, A for above. Agreed? Third part. Third part. Third part. Look from there. Get the elevation on this. Look from the top. Draw the plan on this. Go back. Rotate HP through 90 degrees clockwise. Repeat. Third quadrant, elevation, plan, rotate, HP through 90 degrees clockwise, XY line, elevation below XY and plan above XY. Elevation below XY, plan above XY. Fourth quadrant, fourth quadrant, object is here. Elevation, plan, elevation, plan, transparent planes, HP transparent, plan, you look from the top, through the transparent HP, you see the object. Both are below it. So you are seeing that when the object is in first quadrant, object is in first quadrant, elevation is above so plan is below so when the object is in second quadrant, both are above x y. When the object is in third quadrant, plan is above x y and elevation is below x y, exactly the reverse of first quadrant. And when the object is in fourth quadrant, both are below x y. You can see virtually second and fourth cannot be used. Why they cannot be used? When you draw an object, when the two views overlap, how will you identify what, exact, what, is, what the object is? It should be rather impossible. Very next to impossible, rather impossible to understand what it is. So the second and fourth cannot be used. First and third can be used. When I was a BTEC student, I did my first year BTEC keeping object in third quadrant. Now internationally, somewhere in the early 1980s, uh, internationally there was a advanced countries moved from third quadrant to first quadrant. The British people were following third quadrant, so we were also following third quadrant. Then when the British people, Europeans ch changed to first quadrant, we also changed to first quadrant. So now in India, if you prepare an engineering drawing, the object will be kept in first quadrant. Agreed? The object will be kept in first quadrant. What is the peculiarity of first quadrant? Plan will be below x y, elevation will be above x y. Agreed? Plan is the view from the top, elevation is the view from the front. Now. When you define these quadrants, first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. The first quadrant, the second, the third, the fourth. Anything in this region is called as above HP. E power thole in the above HP in the HP da mole. Anything in this region is set as below HP. HP da thare. Anything in this region is in front of VP. In front of VP. VP da mungil. VP da kore. Apo yon object the first quadrant dipi thare. Hindu kore. Above HP in front of VP. When an object is in first quadrant, you will say above HP and in front of VP. When an object is in second quadrant, you will say above HP and behind VP. When an object is in third quadrant, below HP, behind VP. When an object is in fourth quadrant, below HP, in front of VP. This is the concept of orthographic projection. It is based on this principle that all engineering drawings are made. It is extremely necessary that this table 
become a photographic memory in your memory system. This must have a photographic memory. Or this must be re recalled as a photograph. Very simple it is. Very very simple it is. You don't have any difficulty in counting or saying A from A to Z at this age. But there was a period when saying A to Z correctly was very difficult, isn't it? Similarly, it's a very simple. This is ABCD. This ABCD is very simple. Within two days, you will know what exactly it is. Okay, so this is orthographic projection. It is based on this principle that we draw. In the next video, we will pass on to the projection of points and lines. Projection of points and lines. As I said, I will try to explain certain things in certain things in English and Malayalam as well. And while doing problems, I will also explain, most probably explain in Hindi also. Okay, for the time being, I think it's okay. Thank you. See you in the next class.